Hi everyone, it's Lindsay at Barber ABI. In today's video, we'll be looking at logging into your license and getting all of your settings for email notifications and preferences set up. First thing we're going to do is go through logging into your account. So to log into your account, you go to our homepage, you'll see up at the top, the web address barber-abi.com and that's going to take you onto our homepage here. Top right of the page, you'll see the option for sign in and you just click on there. This will bring you to your My Barber ABI page and you click the option to log into your account here. This will then bring you into the page where you'll add in the username and the password that you've been given. If for any reason you can't remember what these are, it's coming up saying that your details are incorrect or anything like that, then just below the sign in button there's a link there for forgot password. You can put your email address in and it will send you an email with your username on and a link for you to go in and reset the password. So I've just put the username and password in. I'm going to click sign in and that will then take you into your account. For this session today, we are going to go over getting your notifications and email preferences set up. So to do that, you're going to come to the top right hand side of your screen where your initials are here and you'll click into there and into the settings. First tab here is going to be the notifications. So these are for email notifications that you're going to receive through your account. This first section here, project and company updates. This section here relates to projects that you've made a favorite. So you've gone in, you've decided the project is of interest to you. You've put a blue star against it and made it a favorite. When you do that, you get email notifications every time that project gets updated with new information. If you want to tailor those updates, you come into here and you tick the boxes that you want to get the alerts for on your favorite projects. So if you only wanted alerts when a project was at 10 or contract awarded stage, you would just leave those in. There's an option here you can tick if a project role is added. So if a contractor is added, a ground worker, an architect, if you are happy to see the update on a favorite project, whatever roles added, leave it like this. Or you can come in here and specify you want the alert when certain roles are added. So you would add those roles in, click add roles at the right, and then you would only get notifications when one of those roles was added. If there are any date changes, so start dates, end dates, if you tick that box, you'll get alerts when they happen. And then also if you want an alert when the enabling work start or the project that you've made a favorite goes onto site, tick those as well. The next section here, company updates, relates to if you make a company a favorite. So you put the blue star against the company. And this is when you tick this and the notifications are switched on, anytime that company gets a new job on our platform, you get an email alert to let you know. If you don't want to receive an email alert on your favorites, you switch that off. You've also got feeds here. So this relates to saved searches you create to receive email alerts from. Again, you would just leave that switched on. And if you want to get notifications, Anytime one of your colleagues shares something with you, you can tick that as well. Once you've set all of your preferences under your notifications here, you go right to the bottom and you click the save option. That will then save all of those preferences on your notifications. The next tab over is where you can come in and you can add in some favorite roles into your account. You don't have to use this if you don't put anything in here. It just means when you look at a project, the order that you see the companies on that project will be the order that we add them. So you'll see when you go into the project and you look at the companies added, you'll see them in the order. So you'll see clients, architects, agents, consultants, project managers, QSs, then you'll start getting bidders, contractors, subbies. So they'll be in that order. By adding in favorite roles here, so I've got some favorites here, architects, contractors, electrical engineers. You can pick your favorites from this list. You add them in, click add roles at the right and they'll drop down here. So what that means now is when I look at a project, if an architect, contractor or an electrical engineer are on the project, they'll be the first companies that I see. So it will prioritize these roles. It won't stop me from seeing any of the other roles. It will just prioritize these. The next hints box will be ticked and all this allows you to do is when you hover over any of these little boxes here at the side, so it's telling me this is my saved searches, this is my league tables, it shows you with little pop-ups those hints as you go along. If you don't want to see those, you just take the tick out and save it. The next tab is for allowing your account to archive projects. Now, by default, this will be switched off. So if you do want the ability to be able to delete a project you no longer need, come into here. You need to make sure it's switched on like mine is. Click Save, and that will give you the ability when you're in a project to archive it if you no longer want to see it. And then the last tab here is the option to change your password. So if you want to come in here and change your password at any point, you can do that as well. Thank you for watching this video. 
If you'd like to learn more about the Barbara ABI platform, don't forget to check out the full Trading Room playlist available by the help button on the platform and on the My Barbara ABI page of our website. If you'd like to book onto one of our training sessions or receive your own bespoke training, just get in touch. Have a great day.